So in the previous video, we have seen how to create a legal addresses and legal entity for for creating the primary ledgers. Now we have to see the third step that is create a primary ledger. Create primary ledgers. So for that, uh, you can see here the navigation is financials and go to general ledger. Then here you can see manage primary ledgers. Click on this. Uh, here uh, you have to create a new one. Name I'm just giving a BT learn underscore primary ledger, which means underscore PL I've given. Description also I've given. Now I'm going to select a chart of accounts which I've already created. That is uh, BT learn. INS. You can see here uh, what it means. INS means instance. So we are, uh, I mean, chart of accounts structure we are not selecting here. Instance means the uh, replica of a chart of accounts. So that's the reason we have to select here instance. Now accounting calendar which we have already created. We will learn calendar and currency USD I am selecting and accounting method I have not created a new one. So I am just selecting from existing one that is standard accrual. So just click on save and close. Now uh, the primary ledger is uh, created. Now we are going to see specify ledger options. So I am going to click the fourth step is we have to specify ledgers. So now we will see here uh, if you go to the navigation under general ledger only specify ledger option is there. So click on that here uh, by default uh, first time if you log in then uh, it will not show anything. If you are doing uh, repeatedly then uh, by default it will show whatever the existing one already created. So now we are uh, selected and uh, add apply and go task clicking on. Uh, you have to search here uh, your uh, page. So BT learn I'm just searching with uh, my yeah, CBT learn here and the ledger I have set. Save and close. You see here, uh, yeah, my first open period is Jan 23 because I created a calendar from that date and uh, number of user enabled periods one automatically came and the accounting method also came automatically. Here you have to select a retained earnings account which you already created that uh, let me search this one uh, company we have to select here see I've created two companies so this is displaying those and division also no division retain earnings account we are going to select here no location account account which one retain earnings account okay now click on ok so we are mapping all these values to our retain earnings account. So see it is displaying with the codes. Now general language I am going to select here. Mm, American English. See this one I am going to select here. So these are the mandatory fields to create a, uh, I mean sp to specify the ledger. So these there are a lot of options are there. These all we discuss later on. Uh, right now I just uh, explain you about the basic things. So I don't want to confuse you to explain all those things. We will see in the later on financial tasks. So yeah, now this is the way of specifying the ledger option. Now click on save and close. This is how we uh, specify a ledger options. Now the next step is we have to assign legal entities to primary ledgers. So to uh, assign legal entities to primary ledgers what we have to do? We have to uh, click on legal structures and then uh, here uh, you see it's, uh, we have to go to the legal structures and then here you have to select all tasks. As of now it has been selected only required fields. 
now uh, create here you search for assign legal so here assign legal entities we call this and then create we select and add uh, here the legal entity what is uh, there I mean which we have created we did learn just search for BT Learn Motors, as of now I created only one, right? So just apply and done. Now save and close. This is how we are assigning legal entities. The next step is uh, assign balancing segment values to legal entities so for that uh, what you have to do here you should see assign balancing segment values to legal entities click on that here click on create new option company you have to select here which we have created already in the motors and then save and close so here save and close that's it now the final step is the final step is uh, review and submit accounting configuration so for that you just see the review and submit accounting configuration click on that So here we will open our primary ledger. You see this? Just go to our primary ledger. See this is how our primary ledger. Now click on this and submit it. That's it. So if you want to see the process which is currently running, go to tools and then Schedule processes. So this is how we create a primary ledgers. Thank you.